Pettis day two. The question is, how did Pettis do on day two? He did quite similar to how he did on day one, which is good. He did a good job. He caught one pass for about five yards. Now, I mean, it's guys like Jawan Jennings, Brandon Ayuk, other guys are doing more. Kendrick Bourne, Trent Taylor. But Dante Pettis was a train wreck last year. Like he would drop two passes a day. Today, they're like building him up slowly. They're not, he's not playing much with the starters, a little bit, not getting targets from Jimmy Garoppolo, mostly getting targets from the backups, maybe one target a day, and he's catching it. Also, there was one play where um, I believe it was Jimmy Garoppolo. I, I have to check the notes. Threw the ball to Dante Pettis. Ball was tipped by Emmanuel Mosley, and Pettis went and fought for it and caught it, which is really cool. What I've said about Dante Pettis since they drafted him is that he doesn't want to go over the middle. It's not effective over the middle. Even alligator arms, balls in practice, non-padded. He's done that, and that's the way he is. He's just not the kind of guy – who's effective over the middle, but neither is Amari Cooper. I'm not comparing those two. Dante Pettis actually is pretty good outside the numbers. It's not how the Niners use where they throw the ball that often. He'd be a much better fit on a team like the Chiefs. But he has made, for a guy that I say doesn't really fight for the ball over the middle, he made that play today to take away an interception. And as Jason Aponte pointed out yesterday at Niners All Day, I was on with him. He made it the best play of his career was the touchdown catch he made against Pittsburgh last year to win the game. It was a bad read by Jimmy Garoppolo. He forced the ball in between three defenders and cover three at the goal line. He misread it. I don't know. He must have thought it was man or cover something else. But uh, cover two, you're going to have two cornerbacks just waiting right in the flat. And he threw the ball. Dante Pettis reached in front of the corner, took away what would have been an interception and made it a game winning touchdown. He made a play kind of like that today. It's nice to see Dante Pettis not totally lose. Uh, all confidence right away. Because that's what happened last year. They kind of forced the number one wide receiver role on him and he wasn't ready for it. So they're building him back up slowly. Good question. 